by 2050, wave energy is projected to have a potential of 337 gigawatts, positioning it as a key renewable power source. While many companies focus on harnessing wave energy near the coast or at the surface, deeper waters remain largely untapped. To bridge this gap, a Scottish company is developing underwater tidal turbines. These gravity-mounted turbines, weighing 140 tonnes with a 9.5-metre rotor diameter, rest securely on the seabed at depths of 30 metres. In 2016, the company made history by installing the world's first offshore tidal array in Shetland, starting with three 100 kilowatt turbines and later adding three more, demonstrating its reliability with over 65,000 operational hours. Now they're expanding globally, securing funding for a 4 megawatt tidal energy farm with 16 turbines, soon to be the world's largest tidal array. What you see on the screen deserves special attention because it doesn't rely on tidal streams. Instead, it mimics a natural blowhole to generate renewable electricity. Meet the UniWave 200, developed by Waveswell Energy. Deployed off the coast of King Island, Tasmania, this floating platform uses an oscillating water column to harness the power of ocean waves. As waves push water into the chamber, they force air out through an outlet valve. When the water recedes, a vacuum draws air back in, spinning a turbine to produce clean energy. During its trials, the UniWave 200 successfully powered local homes in Australia for a full 12 months dot. The current version generates 200 kilowatts of electricity, while the next iteration is expected to be more than five times as powerful. The US company Asila Power has tested its one to six scale models of their wave energy converter in Hawaii. This system, called Triton C, is designed to harness ocean wave energy, particularly for remote or isolated coastal communities and small facilities with a rated power output of 100 kilowatts. It has a surface float, a top and a heave plate underwater connected by flexible tendons capturing energy from wave movements like heave, pitch, roll and surge. This energy is then converted into electricity across various ocean conditions. The primary aim of these tests is to ensure the Triton can handle the tough open ocean. If successful, a full-scale version capable of generating one megawatt of energy annually will be developed. Furthermore, the system is also built for survivability, automatically submerging during extreme weather conditions. Since 2000, a Danish company has been developing a system to efficiently harness ocean wave energy. Their system, called the Wavestar machine, uses multiple floats mounted on a sturdy platform. These floats move up and down with the waves, converting kinetic energy into electricity through hydraulic cylinders and generators. What makes it unique is its ability to operate efficiently in varying wave conditions. For instance, a 1 to 10 scale model installed in 2006 has operated for over 15,000 hours at sea and withstood 15 storms without significant damage, proving its resilience in strong winds and waves. If conditions become extreme, the system can lift the floats out of the water to prevent damage. While still under development, the Wavestar machine has a projected capacity of 500 kilowatts. Looking like a mechanical sea creature on water, this 20-metre-long, 38-tonne wave energy converter operates as a floating hinged raft that allows it to dive through waves, transforming turbulent waves into clean electricity. In 2021, it underwent extensive sea trials off Orkney Island, Scotland. Over a five-month deployment, the device operated for 154 days delivering steady outputs of up to 5 kilowatts and peaking at an impressive 30 kilowatts, even in wave conditions of up to 2.3 metres. Following this, further demonstrations began in March 2023 
off Orkney's east coast as part of the renewables for subsea power project. These trials connected the device to a subsea battery to power autonomous underwater vehicles, highlighting its potential for offshore oil and gas applications. Here's another invention that sits below the ocean surface. Waveswing from the Scottish company AWS is a 50-ton cylindrical buoy. Anchored to the seabed, it operates in a straightforward way. As waves pass overhead, the increased pressure pushes the floater down, compressing an air spring below, which then pushes the floater back up. A generator inside the cylinder converts these upward and downward motions into electricity. According to the company, the wave swing can be deployed underwater and put into operation within just 12 hours. During trials, it has achieved an average output of 10 kilowatts, with peak outputs reaching 80 kilowatts, 20% better than expected. The company plans to develop units capable of generating 500 kilowatts in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some more innovations that harness ocean energy, click on the screen for the next video.